Hi, welcome back to the YFC Kitchen. I'm Emily, and today we're gonna to be making Chicken Divine. So this is basically a casserole that's got broccoli, chicken, cheese, and a nice creamy sauce mixture poured over top. The very first thing you need to do is preheat your oven. You're gonna turn your oven to 400 degrees, and while you're waiting for it to preheat, we're gonna get our first ingredients ready. So we're gonna be cooking some broccoli. So you're gonna fill up a pot with water, put it on the stove on high. If you need to see how to make that happen, check out one of our mini videos for boiling water. And while you're waiting for your water to boil, you're gonna go back to your counter and get your broccoli ready. So the first thing that you're gonna do with your broccoli is you're gonna cut off the long stem that's on the end there. You're gonna cut that off and then just discard that stem, and then you're gonna cut the head or the crown of your broccoli into bite-sized pieces. You can choose how big you want these bite-sized pieces to be. We're gonna be cutting about three and a half cups worth of broccoli pieces. That's probably gonna be one or two bunches of broccoli. So when you buy broccoli from the grocery store, it's usually two crowns um, bound together by an elastic band. So if you grab two of those, you should have enough. Once your broccoli is all cut up, we're gonna be putting it in the water to boil and cooking it for three minutes. So the next thing that you're going to need for your casserole is some chicken pieces. So what you're gonna do is take four chicken breasts and cube them. So you can do that by cutting it into strips and then cutting those strips into bite-sized pieces. You're gonna to wanna to do this with each of your four chicken breasts and then get ready to cook those. Now we're going to cook our chicken pieces. So you're gonna put a frying pan on your stove and turn your stove to medium-high heat. And then you're gonna put a couple tablespoons of oil in your pan and spread the oil around to make sure that it's all over the whole surface. That way you don't have some pieces of chicken sticking and some not. And then you're going to pour your pre-cut chicken pieces into your pan and you're going to cook your chicken pieces all the way through. This will take a couple minutes. Once your chicken is done cooking, you're going to turn off the heat, leave it in the pan, and just set it aside off of the hot element. You can leave the chicken there um, while you go prepare the rest of your dish. Once your broccoli has cooked, you can turn off the heat, and you're going to move your pot off the stove and drain it in a colander in the sink. It's good to use oven mitts for this because the steam and the hot water might splash around a little bit in the sink. So you're gonna put your colander in the bottom of the sink, pour your pot into the colander, let all of the hot water drain out, and then you're going to set your broccoli aside, moving on to the next steps. Once you have cooked your broccoli and chicken, you will make sure your hands are clean and you will grease a nine by 13 inch pan with some butter. How you can do this is cut off a little piece of butter and you can use your hands if they're clean or a piece of paper towel and you're just gonna rub all that butter all over. Make sure you get the whole surface, every part of the pan that gets butter on it means less cleaning for you later because the food won't stick to the pan if it's greased. Now we are going to make our sauce. So we're gonna take a bowl and a spatula, and into the bowl, we're going to put half a cup of milk, and then two thirds of a cup of sour cream. Uh, one can of cream of chicken soup. A quarter teaspoon of salt, and one cup of shredded cheese. If you don't have pre-shredded cheese, you can always grate your cheese at home. So you're gonna stir it all together. Once it's completely mixed, you're gonna set it aside. 
Now we are ready to assemble our casserole. So now we have our cooked chicken pieces, our cooked broccoli pieces, and our sauce, and a pre-greased pan. So now we're going to start putting everything together. So the first thing you're gonna do is pour your chicken pieces into the pan and spread them out so they're all laying flat and evenly. And then you're going to pour on top of that all of your broccoli pieces in the same way, pouring them flat so that they all lay evenly across the pan. Next, you're going to pour your sauce. Try to pour it evenly across the whole pan. You can spread the sauce around to make sure that it's covering the whole dish. Once you have your chicken, broccoli, and sauce in your casserole dish, you're ready to make your topping. So we're going to melt our butter with the microwave. We're gonna use a Pyrex dish, but you could also use a coffee mug or a bowl. Just make sure that you don't use something metal um, or something that says on the bottom that it's not microwave safe. If you don't have a microwave, you can always put a little bit of butter in a small pot on the stove. So once our butter is melted, we're going to measure three tablespoons of breadcrumbs into our melted butter container. We're gonna stir it all up. It'll be a little crumbly and that's okay. We're going to add three quarters of a cup of shredded cheese onto our casserole. We're gonna sprinkle it as evenly as we can so that all corners of our casserole get cheese on them. And then we are going to take our breadcrumb and melted butter mixture and we're going to sprinkle it all over the top. Okay, now we are ready to put our casserole in the oven. It should be at 400 degrees. We're gonna put our casserole in uncovered and we're gonna set our timer for 18 minutes. Now that your chicken casserole has been baking in the oven for about 18 minutes, it should be nice and bubbling, the cheese all nice and melted. Don't forget to turn off your oven when you're done. And now you are ready to serve and enjoy. Now we have our final product of Chicken Divine. We hope that you've enjoyed this video and uh, that you enjoy eating it. This recipe, as we've made it, should serve about four people. But if you have a bag that serves more than that, just make sure you check the recipe that's been emailed to you make sure you have the right amounts. If you ever have any questions or you're not sure about anything, feel free to contact me or Catherine and we would be glad to help you out. Enjoy your chicken divine and see you next week. Bye.